Good morning, sunshine. Look, baby girl, you're so damn fine though. I'm trying to know if I can hit it from behind though. Yeah, so good morning, sunshine. So today is November 15th, and it is our anniversary. We are celebrating nine years today, and we still can't believe that it's nine years. Yeah. And um, hasn't hit me yet either. Yeah, and we don't have we don't have the children. We've been. That's amazing. <laughs> we <laughs> we've been children last for a night and i don't think it's a good idea for me and my husband to be alone <laughs> we've just been doing things that we're not supposed to be doing <laughs> and i won't tell you guys either so please stay out of our bedroom <laughs> but um yeah so to be Childrenless is a beautiful thing. So all you couples that are childrenless, please stay childrenless and enjoy your marriage and yeah. don't rush into having kids because this is beautiful. This is heaven. <laughs> Our life is hectic and chaotic and just <laughs> I wouldn't want that for nobody that are yeah. newlyweds. Just enjoy your marriage and you know because. It's nine years and we have just finally known what it's like <laughs> to be married. You know, be alone and just enjoy each other. And that's sad. Yeah, it is. So, we have decided that we're going to be doing this on a monthly basis where we have some find someone to watch the kids and it's just me and him. And, you know, where we, you know, explore our relationship our marriage and make it stronger so i'll see you guys when we get to our next destination we so far we've gotten up and um my husband did his extra whatever we got dressed um went for breakfast and we're coming back from um having breakfast brunch lunch <laughs> same thing so um now we're going to our favorite park our favorite um park because it's it's just our park so we're gonna go see that and i'll show you guys once we get there and then after that we have something else and then, you know just keep going it's like a rolling <laughs> <laughs> you want to say good morning to the sunshines good morning sunshines why are they sunshine? Oh, stop! You say it. Don't <laughs> ask questions. It's like your um, Good morning, explorer. sunshines. Good morning, sunshine. There you go. So he's getting used to it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we are in the. What is this? The. We're in a like a greenhouse. The greenhouse, and it's, it's like it's it's really pretty. As um. So, <laughs> what's that back there? <laughs> but, um, I love this place. Oh, lucky. Oh, so pretty. It is so pretty. Is that a so banana no, tree? A I wish there was. I, I wish I lived in here. You lived in this I house. I wish I lived in here, in the greenhouse too. <laughs> you so can't actually, live in the greenhouse. Why? Can you? Yeah. Let's say we can't put a bed here. Look at the nice place. Is it? You can't turn the camera. I could. I'm gonna show them. Flowers. Yeah, I'm gonna show them the flowers. These crazy looking flowers. Look at this. It looks like it's gonna come alive. <laughs> so crazy. Beautiful. I feel like Jurassic Park. Really? Look at these big leaves, yo. Uh, that's why I was saying, is it banana leaf? I don't is know. it a banana leaf? Oh, this is all. Oh, it's called the but. Uh, I thought it was gonna say botanical, botanical garden or something. But um. You need a selfie stick. I know. Look at this one. Well, I do have a selfie stick. Look at this one above our heads. It's a circle. Well, hold on. Let me give them a closer view. Okay, so this is the... Oh, so peaceful. 
Look at that big old banana leaf. I don't, know, I don't think that's banana. <laughs> what do you think it is? In my boots. These are my boots. There's no place like home. <laughs> this is bird right? paradise. Bird paradise? South Africa. Oh, the... 15 to 30 feet tall. Oh, okay. This plant was on display in 1969. Oh. When they opened. Up. Those are pretty. They're what are pretty. Those? What are those, honey? These? They don't have a name on them. No. They're pretty, though. They are. Look at this one. Spanish moss. Spanish moss? Yeah. Uh, nice. Mm, this is a waterfall. What the? Is it? Yeah. I know these are banana. Yep. Those are banana. It's a banana tree. Oh, rubber plant. They're rebuilding. Oh, okay. Oh, we gotta go around. Hey, can you imagine this in your backyard, though? The shade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Look. It yeah, is. cause it's the banana plants. Yeah, it's a banana. How did you know? Yeah, because um, we had a couple of these in our backyard. Do they provide a lot of shade? The banana trees. Yeah. Sometimes it all depends. This is awesome. Look how high it got. Yeah. It's touching the roof. So we're under her favorite gazebo overlooking the lake. And we're gonna, I think we're gonna renew our vows here under this gazebo, our 10th year vows. And then we renewed under here. Get from that in that garden over there, you think here? Either here or the garden. Here's real pretty. But yes. I like the water. And the shade, no, but I like the water. Over there, we would have to rent a tent. Exactly. Here, we would have to rent a tent. Because it's under the gazebo. So it's like real pretty, guys. So, this is what we're thinking for next year. So, see? It's got a nice layout. Like, the people could be sitting here, and Marcella and I could be up on that little landing. Like, right here. Right here. Perfect. It would be perfect right here and everyone is like seated there and he and i are looking this way yeah so i would come down this way or come from there down here so i like it oh this is disgusting oh that, oh there's rocks on there I'm going to take a couple of pictures so I'm show you guys how, like, the lady says, I'm a professional photographer. You should be facing against the light. Not me. She was taking someone else's Selfie. Um, picture. picture. But it's so quiet and peaceful here, guys. Just, just. I'm just, like, enjoying this, like. We don't get to do this every day. So no, we don't. Look at that. It's so pretty. Look at that. Just me and my man. Me and my man. Me and my man. Me and my man. Me. It'd be funny if my phone fell over and no, let me stop. Let, let's go somewhere else, babe. So we are where? Where is this, honey? This is Haynes Point. Haynes Point. So pretty. The water. I'm so flipping tired. 
sleepy. Me too. And I didn't even stay up late. Yeah, we did. I'm tired. Yeah, we did. It was like 1.30. That's not late, late. It's not bad. But we woke up at 9. Or was it 8? No, it's 7. We woke up at 7. He took a shower first. Then I took a shower and got dressed for like an hour. And then he made a, a DVD. And then we um, we left. So now we're just like all over the flipping place. Like we don't have a care in the world. <laughs> so it's nice when you can just go where you want. Not worry about kids like I'm hungry, I'm tired, I wanna be pee. He touched me, stop touching me, mommy. Let's go home. <laughs> we haven't even left the house. <laughs> but um, I think this is gonna be it for today. Unless we do something else, I'll let you guys know. Okay, sunshine. So we're back home. We we're gonna go out for dinner, but we decided we we're just gonna. Oh. We're old. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna we're um, just chill at home. And to show you how much we're like so in tune. Look what I'm playing. Look what's in. Um, <laughs> look, um, we're watching Nick Jr. Like, seriously, the kids are not here. And this is what I'm watching Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Like, I could be watching a movie or something, but Paw Patrol. So um, we're going to pick up the kids tomorrow, bright and early, so that they can go to school. So we're going to leave here around 7, 7 o'clock to go pick up the kids and um, drop them. We're going to pick them up, get them dressed at his mom, and then drop them off at school. And then we have the entire day for ourselves, except we're going to have Jackson's. But it's not hard to have Jackson, you know, because... He's not a fussy child. So, um, we went to, um, Ains Point, I think, today in D.C. And my husband and I were standing and we were looking at the water and watching, like, the planes and stuff come in and take off and stuff. I know, we're old. And, um, right before we leave, there's this older lady. She was trying to start her car and it wouldn't cut on for her. And then my husband was like... Oh no, someone's car is not starting. So I was like, he was like, Are you ready? I was like, Yes. And then I was like walking to my car, but I felt, you know, like I needed to go help or ask if she needed help. So my husband was like, Go ahead, go ask. It would be nicer if you ask because she's a woman and I don't want to scare her. So I walked up to her and I was like, um, Excuse me, do you need some help? And she was like 70 something years old. And she was like, um, yes, I do. My car won't shut, cut on. And I think it's because I was playing a game on there and I killed my battery and stuff. And I was like, okay, well, I have my husband bring up the car and we can help you out. So my husband brought up the car and um, he hooked it up to her battery and stuff. And after a few minutes, her car cut on and she was like, oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. She gave me a hug and I gave her a hug and she was like, hug your husband for me. And I was like, I will. And she was like, thank you guys so much. Is there anything I can do for you guys? Can I buy you guys something? I was like, no, just get home safely. And she was like, okay, thank you. And we were like gone. So it was like a good thing to do, you know, it'll always be a memory of our anniversary that we were able to help someone else you know and bring joy to someone else's life you know because it's not a fun thing to be stuck stranded and not have any help especially at her age so i was i felt good to be able to you know do that for her you know so yeah but anyway guys thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and it was a pleasure to share our moments with you guys um, without it being too intrusive on us. So um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.